Hello and welcome to another episode of Train Sim World 2, where I'm doing my best to drive virtual locomotives without causing major disaster. Or do I? Anyway, before I begin, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already and follow up with bell button to turn on the notifications and stay up to date with my latest content. I would also like to encourage you to join my Discord server, where you can interact with me and other Train Sim World fans, talk about the game in general, share some cool mods, or just chill. You can find link in description down below this video. Welcome back uh, in another episode where I'm doing my best to uh, go through all Sandpatch Great Journey missions in Train Sim World 2. So, in last episode we've been learning how to load coal uh, using AC 4400 CW and, and some call wagons in today's episode we will continue our journey with another mission so let's jump into the game window and let's see what the game has to offer for us okay so here we are in the game in the menu where we can select our um, next step of the journey as you can see the last mission that i completed was called loading and now we need to begin powering the America. Yes, today I'm going to focus on powering America part one. Uh, it's a two part mission. Uh, well, to be fair, there is many multi part missions in here. Uh, we got powering America. We got U876 A B. C and D, which is probably four part mission. Uh, we got Q353, which is actually a single part mission. X799, uh, G089, and I368. So those will be our next missions that I will cover in this series. One by one, week by week, we will complete this series. Right. Anyway, without any further ado, let's jump into Powering America Part 1. Yeah, there we go. The mission is now loading. Okay, so we are going to pretty much do the same thing as we did in previous episode. This time I have to sort it out myself. So this is going to be interesting. Right, let's jump in. And let's see if I still remember how to set this bad boy up. Well, worse comes to worse, I might eventually have a look on my previous video. How, how did I set it up? Nah, I probably won't have to. Right. The reverser is set to forward. Automatic brake to release. No, no, no. Before I will do that, I need to go to screen number 5. I need to set up my slow speed and my target speed should be set to I will set it to 1.7 there is a small speed error that should be fine and let's set slow speed on okay now i can exit 
Okay, okay, okay. Right, front headlights. Uh, bright. There we are. Back headlights are off. Okay. I think everything else is set up. Are we actually using? Uh, are we actually using more locomotives? No, we got only one. Okay. Yeah, this bad boy doesn't need a secondary unit, which is very good. Uh, is there heating air conditioner? No, 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 no. Okay, that seems to be set. Alerter, okay, acknowledge, independent brake, we can release it, automatic brake, released, oh, okay, I need to set it up once more, uh, so the game is going to Oh, I need to set the target speed to 2 miles per hour. So I will have to reset everything. Eh. There we go. Okay. And I need to enable it. Right. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. The train is actually... St well, the train has actually started to roll on its own. Which means that we are on slight hill. It shouldn't be too much problem. Oh. It is. It is because I forgot to turn on the slow speed. Okay. Now it's on. Okay, and now we can roll in. The power has been applied. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, so we can now look on the external camera. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Right, so the game has this weird trigger function which means that if I won't properly trigger various different controls the game will eventually not let me through even though the brakes were released well the game was still thinking yeah you haven't released the brakes well uh, those are limitations of various types of software there's nothing I can do about it and I believe that developers also have struggles to achieve that goal uh, perhaps they will upgrade it in the future, perhaps they won't. Um, I won't be complaining about this part of, well, the game, because well, I used to play Arma. If, if anyone ever played this game, they know that this is a buggy mess. It's a great game, but it has a lot of bugs like that. When you set the trigger, when you are creating missions, Wow, the, there's a lot of things that needs to trigger and they have to be triggered in order to progress with the mission, for example. So, like, I can't blame developers for uh, putting this. Obviously, they could put, like, a check if certain task was already done before... Uh, uh, before the mission has started 
uh, and obviously I messed up a little bit oh there we go right on time I managed to switch that junction okay okay that was a little bit late we are moving at a very, very slow speed. Technically, two miles per hour should do the job. Uh, but I would like to load my wagons at 100%. And if you remember my training mission from last week, uh, all of the wagons were loaded at a rate of 95 to 98%. So I would like to avoid this today. And I want 100% load in every single wagon. That's why I set my target speed to 1.7 miles per hour. Uh, and as I can see at the moment, my locomotive keeps 1.6, which is fine. It's going to take a little bit longer to load the wagons, but yeah, we should be perfectly fine. Right, let's have a look how long our train is oh my goodness me there is another one and this is a long train oh okay this one is about to yeah there is another train out there okay Okay, so the first wagon is about to be loaded. There we go. It is loading. Let's see if it loads at 100%. 60, 70, 80, 90. There we go, 100%. That's exactly what I wanted. So we got just perfect speed. That's very good. There we go. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. To be fair, if I would knew that Powering America is pretty much, uh, at least at the beginning, a repeat of, um, of coal loading training mission, I would probably skip that tutorial. Uh, it's basically the steps are very very much the same just have to set up your locomotive make sure you drive at a very slow pace and load every single wagon but well it happens it happens uh, i'm absolutely sure that there is more to this mission so i will have to carry those wagons to some place uh, I think it was Cumberland Terminal, if I remember correctly. So there is still a bit of a route for me to cover. Okay. Beautiful. So far, so good. Every single wagon is fully loaded. Obviously, the game doesn't animate all the wagons correctly, so as long as they are on my screen, not everything is visible. Well, it's called the game bugs, and it happens. We are about a quarter way through loading procedure. Fantastic. Yeah, 
In fact, uh, it would be nice if those scenarios would read from previous missions. Because in previous mission, I've been loading pretty much the same train. So, why not let the player start with loaded train if I loaded it fully in previous mission. If I would decide to cut my training short, I would have to repeat those steps. But if I loaded it fully, it should give me an advantage in this mission. That would be cool if, if the game would actually include that. But, well, it's still nice. It's still nice. I, I really enjoy doing that. Right, uh, let's jump back into the cabin. And let me just have a look if everything is... Road crossing lights. Yes, window heaters we don't need. We don't need refrigerator. Oh, distributed power. Probably... Yeah, that's gonna be used if I will connect the locomotives in tandem. Local control will be turned off if I would be in secondary locomotive. Multi-unit setup. He oh, that's headlight control. Heater. Okay. Engine control run okay yeah there is not much to be turned on on this panel control crosswalk lights number lights oh there we go i might actually use those let's have a look oh there we go now the number lights on our locomotive are lit up beautiful okay uh we are just above half, uh, halfway through let's have a look at the last wagon oh yes oh yes the last wagon is actually approaching so we are about to finish one and a half miles per hour speed is just perfect Very good. Very, very, very good. Ooh, the train is slowing down. I might give it a little bit more speed. It won't go faster. Ooh. Yeah. The heavier the train gets, uh, the harder it will be for me to maintain a stable speed. I could eventually try to give it notch 4. Perhaps it will work better. No, it won't. I don't think slow speed running will give me that much power. There we go. Far is seven more wagons, is it? Yeah, seven more. Okay, we're getting there. Six more wagons. Five more wagons. Uh, 
Okay, four more. Three more. We're getting there. Okay, two more. Okay, and one last wagon. Oops. I actually like the attention to details. If you notice, uh, every single wagon has its own independent number, right? Anyway. I need to stop this bad boy. Okay, I will use full service automatic brake. Now we need to turn off slow speed control. So that was... Was it... Oh no, that was... Slow speed control. There we go. And let's turn this bad boy off. Right. So, we can now set the switches. Okay, you're right. So, which one do I need to switch? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, don't tell me I will have to Wow Couple to formation Okay that's interesting That is something new Right uh, I need a reverser Okay Let's release the brakes. And there we go. We are moving. So now I need to connect to that train. Oh, that is interesting. I hope the other train is actually loaded. Or I might have to load it myself. Oh my goodness me, this is gonna be fun. If that's the case, I will also have to set up the second locomotive to work in a tandem. Otherwise I might I might not be able to, to pull the wagons. So this is gonna be fun. I didn't expect that to happen. Okay. Okay, I will approach it slowly. very slowly all right
Uh, I don't think I will have to load it, but no, these are not loaded. Oh. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Yeah, I think I will have to load them. And then switch to the other locomotives. Right, let's set the power handle to idle. I might need to... Use some independent braking. Yeah. It's it's wise to use independent brake to slow down because I'm moving pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Neutral. Full service. Okay. 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 So. What did I just do? Oh, no. Reverse is neutral. Right. And I need to switch off. Engine run. Generator field. Okay. There we go. Walk over to the pickup truck to complete this duty. Okay, so I managed to prepare this train. Uh, but everything else is going to happen in the part two. So, providing that I basically just repeated the steps from the previous episode. I think we might make a bonus today, shall we? Yeah, that was pretty short. It, it would be a waste to show you the same operation twice. Okay, okay. So, we are going to go with Powering America Part 2. Okay, so here we are on Powering America Part 2. Right, uh, so I'm already in my driver's seat, but I don't believe that developers have set everything up correctly for us. So let me see on the panel in here. Uh, I don't need refrigerator. I definitely don't need window hitters. Short hood headlights. Uh, yes, definitely. Long hood headlights. Nope, I don't need them. Cap fun, nope. Uh, distributed power, yes, we're gonna need that. Number lights, oh yes, definitely. Headlight control, uh, single or middle units, no. Short hood lead, yes, please. Engine control run. Okay, this one, what is that? Air conditioner. Right, those three. Uh, where is that? Control on. Generator fields on, engine run on. Okay. So that locomotive seems to be set up more or less good. Reverser forward, automatic brake, handle off, no, full service. Uh, headlights, bright aux. Uh, let me set this up as I should. Uh, let's leave it for now. 
right let's see the brakes air brakes air brakes air brakes cut in lead fantastic okay and i think we got another locomotive on our back yes there is right let's check it out and there should be one locomotive at the very end so we will have to inspect that as well uh, let's make sure that we can use all the power we have in order to pull that heavy cargo of coal right so this one doesn't need distributed power cap fan short hood headlights nope nope uh what is that road crossing lights on yeah it, it can be headlight control single or middle unit nope short hood trail nope long hood trail yeah there we go number lights uh let's turn them on uh right those three buttons so uh heating air conditioner now engine run nope generator field nope control nope right this is trailing unit so you should have air brakes set to trail and they are okay fantastic so i think this one is set up correctly wait did i close the door yes i did okay so let's have a look at our rear locomotive unfortunately the consist seems to be very long so i'll be back with you in a second okay so here we are let's check this bad boy up so we need to set this one up as it would be a lead locomotive at least that's what i think about it so control on generator field on engine run on uh, air brakes should be set as a lead still on cutout so let's save it there we go okay that should do uh, distributed power needs to be on radio needs to be on short hood headlights yes long hood headlights they are not needed uh, number lights are definitely needed headlight control uh, long hood trail there we go engine control run uh, what else what else what else do we need anything else running lights or long hood lead let's set it to long hood lead and let's see how it works uh, perhaps it will work much better crossword flags control pump yes that's working long hood headlights off okay short hood headlights on cap fan distributed power and the radio is on okay uh, back headlights we don't need them gauge lights nope uh, dynamic brake is on step lights on heating air conditioner okay right it seems like we got everything set up for this one uh, so as soon as we turn on banking com this locomotive should start responding to our orders should but doesn't have to we'll test it and the best test is to try and move this bad boy. So let's get back to our locomotive. I'll be back with you in a second. And we'll try to move this consist and get it to its destination. It's going to be very, very long scenario. Because if I remember correctly, we need to end at Cumberland. Which is pretty far away. So expect about two... Yeah, about two, two and a half hours from now on uh, for this scenario to last. If I did everything correctly, and I've been trying to set those up uh, similar to how I would set um, SD40-2 or GP38 uh, to work in a tandem. If everything works exactly the same for these locomotives... Uh, I should get full power from all the locomotives. I should get uh, full, uh, full braking power from all the locomotives. 
and we should be able to fully control this uh, consist. If I set up something wrong, well, then we won't be able to move or we will struggle to break. Uh, but, well, I'll worry about that later. So, I'm almost there. For some reason it feels that I'm running much quicker when I'm running from the back to the front of my consist. Uh, it, it felt much longer when I've been running the other direction. Anyway. We are here. Everything seems to be set up. And now let's get on the move. Okay, let's climb up the steps. Let's open the doors. Let's sit in our seat. Let's turn on the banking com. Okay. Independent brake bail off. Automatic brake on release. Okay, brake pipe is filling up. Okay, it seems like the brakes are released now. Let's sound a horn. Let's give it two notches and let's test it out. If the train is able to move on notch two, that will probably mean that we are getting power from all three locomotives. Okay, something is happening. There is a slight movement. Is there? The brakes might still be releasing. Okay, these two seems to be giving me power, that's for sure. And this one... Well, it seems like it's trying to, to provide some power. But there is not much of a movement. Oh, wait. I think the wagons are now stretching. Yes. There we go. There we go. We are moving. Okay, so it feels like, yeah, some of the brakes were still releasing, but... Right now, everything should be released. And just look at this. We are actually moving. It took some time. Uh, for some reason, my uh, user interface was indicating that the brakes are already released. But it definitely takes some time before the brakes are fully released. I could hear that uh, the wheels were squeaking. Uh, so that indicates that it wasn't lack of power from the locomotives it was just the brakes that were still holding me strong but we are now on the move oh yes oh yes just look at this I got full power Beautiful. Right. I think I can keep it on notch 2 for now. I'll try to control my speed so that I won't go over the limit. Okay, I'm now climbing uphill, so 
I'll keep it on mods too, uh, because soon we should start slowing down actually. Yeah, the train is still speeding up, but not all the wagons entered that pit. So they are not yet pulling me back. I'll try to use that momentum to keep my speed as high as possible. Yeah, I think I stopped speeding up. Beautiful. Okay, I can increase the throttle because the speed is dropping down. Let's check on the last locomotive. Yes, it's definitely providing power. Awesome. Right, so we are correctly set up. Oh, the lights are on. Beautiful. So we should now be able to reach our destination with no problems at all. The only difficulty I may have is to, like, stop on potential red lights and, and stuff. If I pass signal at danger somewhere close to the end, I will be really, really angry. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen. Oh, just look at that power. It is going to be a long route. Oh, I'm actually losing speed. So let's give it notch 4. Okay. Notch 4 should give us a little bit more speed. There we go. Speed is increasing. Notch 5. We can now speed up as a uh, real locomotive past the junction. There we go. Seventeen miles per hour, come on, come on. Eighteen. Okay, not seven. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay. Full on notch eight. Let's get to that speed. We'll start dropping the throttle at like 35 miles per hour to adjust our throttle to the desired speed. But for now I want to gain that momentum. Beautiful. 30 miles per hour. 31. Thirty 32. Lovely. Okay, new speed limit. 45, is it? Yes. It is. So we should increase soon okay 35 let's drop it to notch 5 let's see if the speed will keep increasing seems like it is 
notch 4 Um, yeah, notch 4 gives us solid 37. It's still increasing slightly. Okay, but the speed limit also increased. I think we should be able to keep it that way. Let's increase it to notch 5, in fact. Oh. Okay, the speed limit will drop to 35 miles per hour. So I will let it coast to slow down to that speed. Come on, come on. I know you can slow down. There we go. Okay. I'll give it notch 3. To keep my speed in... In the level that, that we are now. Oh. Okay, let's push it back to notch. Now let's let it coast again. Okay, let's drop the speed a little bit more than 35. So I can better adjust it. Okay, we are right at the speed limit. Which is good. Three and a half miles to go. To our first checkpoint. One mile until yellow signal. Okay, we are now going uphill. So the speed will start dropping a little bit. I'll let it drop to 33 miles per hour and then I will start mingle with the throttle. Until then, there is no need. We are pretty much at the speed limit. There we go. Second power handle. Might not be enough, to be fair. Yeah. Okay, third power handle. There we go. Now it feels like we are trying to pull them. Ah, but the speed is still dropping. Look at that. There are some works above us. Hopefully they won't drop one of those rocks. Right, two and a half miles till yellow signal. Oh, okay. The speed is again increasing.
is it? Uh, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Anyway, 31 miles per hour is a good speed. We should be able to get to our destination pretty easily. Okay, let's give it notch 4. Come on, come on. You can do it. Ooh, the speed started to drop really fast. Even on notch 4. Okay. Give me notch 5. Come on, give me that power. Ooh, notch 5 doesn't seem to be sufficient. Really? Okay, give me six. There we go, now we are speeding up. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, 700 yards to next speed limit check. Come on. You can do it. Eighty miles per hour. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're getting there, boys. We're getting there. Okay, 750 yards until next yellow signal. I believe behind that there will be a red signal as a follow-up. But since we are just approaching it, I'll try and keep my speed where it is. Beautiful, a bridge. Oh, the camera flickers. Okay, there we are. I'll just let it coast for now. Okay, so we are entering this truck. 
1.1 miles to red signal. So let's just pull this bad boy onto the siding. And it's a very long train. Okay. So as soon as the signal allows us to do, we will have to uh, proceed to Salisbury Junction. Uh, from Salisbury Junction to, to, to Sandpatch. There we go. <laughs> right. I've set my brakes to minimum reduction to start slowing down and make sure that I can actually stop before the signal. Because it is going to take a distance to stop this train. And I'm still doing 24 miles per hour. But that's a no joke. I can already see the signals up in the distance. I should be able to stop pretty easily. It's quite even siding, so... There shouldn't be too much of a trouble. Okay, I'm still doing 16 miles per hour. Let's see. Okay, the rear locomotive is on the siding, so wherever we will stop, it's going to be good. I can release the brakes for now and let it roll at a very slow speed. The train should stop on its own anyway. Yeah, we are still losing speed. And as soon as this train pulls into this siding, I will be able to carry on and move. So if I can do that without stopping, that would actually be brilliant. Can I? Oh, it looks like I can. I may be able to do that. That would make things much easier. There we go, there we go. Okay. And the signal... Oh, there we go, signal has changed. Okay, so notch three, and let's get on the move. All the brakes are released, and we should be good to go. Well, so we managed to do it without stopping. <laughs> That's interesting. Right, for this part, I think I may... Nah, I'll, I'll stay in external camera. I might miss some of the whistle boards. Uh, there might be some on, on this uh, bit of a route, if I remember correctly. I think we started one of the scenarios on, on this particular siding. 
with quite similar train. Anyway, we are now getting onto the right track. Beautiful. And the train is gaining speed really nicely. Let's have a look at this. Oh, this one stopped. I don't know why, but this rear locomotive doesn't seem to generate any, any engine noise. Uh, while I think it should. Definitely should give some engine noise. Uh, hopefully that's the game bug. And hopefully Dovetail will be able to fix this one. It's a minor bug. But as, as long as it provides power, I'm happy with it. Okay. Anyway. Notch 4. Let's get this bad boy up to speed. Shall we? We got another five miles to go. Oh, there we go. We've driven 100 miles with AC4400 CW. Wow. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. I wonder where have I when have I done that? Hmm. That's interesting. Anyway, let's get up to some speed, shall we? 24 miles per hour is pretty low, to be fair. There we go, 35 miles per hour speed limit. And there's a whistle board. So let's give it a whistle. There we go. I may miss some. When I will be moving my camera. But I hope I won't. go a screenshot taken why not oh, let's hide the camera under the bridge beautiful right let's check what other cameras there are I think there were other oh yeah camera 8 which is like a pass-through camera nice one doesn't swap right let's observe what's in front of us there we go oh external cameras front boom front camera free camera Oh. Oh. There we go. That's a nice screenshot. Okay. Right, let's observe our speed limits. Let's 
push it to notch 5. We are climbing up hill. I think there is another whistle board as well. Oh yeah, we definitely need some more power for that. Yeah, that's another whistle board. Is the speed dropping? Yeah, I think it may be. Let's give it not seven. Uh, not really, it's too steep already. Notch 8. Full power. Come on, I know you can do it. I know I got more than enough power to pull those wagons. There we go, 25 miles per hour. Come on, we can do better. I'm sure we can do better than that. Oh, the camera flickers a little bit. There we go. Another beautiful screenshot. Well, the speed is raising, but pretty slow going up very very slowly hmm. oh there's another whistle board Oh, there was another one. They are very easy to miss. Come on, come on. Let's get through this town. There we go, 30 miles per hour. We finally hit that speed that we want but the locomotives are really struggling with this cargo it must be really super heavy Okay. About half a mile. Well, yeah, about half a mile to next signal. Oh, 
And this one's gonna be yellow. Okay. Okay. Okay, 1% incline, going up. Okay, so we passed this signal, but nothing happened. Oh, there's another whistle board. There we go. Okay, two and a half miles to next yellow signal and then the speed limit will drop down to 20 miles per hour. Wow! I guess I need to be very careful up there. Okay, let's grab a sip of coffee. There we go. Oh, there we go, up whistle board. Wow. They are really, really easy to miss. That's the thing about this game. Uh, like, some of the signs and boards, they are very small, and they don't seem to be rendering in good enough detail to, like, stick out from, uh, from the rest of the textures. Uh, that makes them, like hardly visible especially when uh, when you are passing next to them uh, not to mention that there is not so many of different signs and, and and things if you if you watched any of my gameplays from train driver 2 you probably noticed that i'm constantly passing right to right next to some uh, boards signals um, signs and and all that stuff Okay, uh, she finished. Right, so yeah, it, it feels rather like empty. The routes are very detailed, don't get me wrong, but like it feels like there's not enough signals and, and signs and, and stuff. I mean, there is enough signals, definitely, uh, when it comes to like light signaling and, and, uh, and all that stuff, it, it's, it's done perfectly, but those whistle boards, they are very, very easy to miss, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, right, I'm climbing uphill. I might drop it by a few notches. In fact, I might let it coast right now. Because I need to drop my speed within a thousand yards, down to 20 miles per hour. Right. 
Right, right, right. Let's not forget about it. Okay, let's set it to notch 3. Should be just enough. I'd rather approach this signal slowly and, and you're gonna see why. Okay, let's give it notch 4. You're gonna quickly see why I want to approach this signal slowly. Because if I remember this side incorrectly, there is a nasty surprise waiting for me. And no, I haven't played this mission before like 20 times to know exactly everything. I remember this siding from one of our previous missions where we basically finished our game in, in this area. But if I remember how the signals were set, we should see that nasty surprise just up ahead. Okay, we are doing like... 13 miles per hour. The speed is constantly dropping, which is fine. I'm okay with that. It will not be easy to get this bad boy moving again. But if you look closely at that signal, look what's behind it. Yes. There is a small dwarf signal that shows red. And I think our light refers to that small dwarf signal. Why is that? Because otherwise, why would it show yellow? Those two tracks, left and right, won't cross. And yes, just as I predicted, we are going to cross to the left track. For some reason. Okay. I can now drop my throttle and introduce some brakes. Let's set them to full service. Okay, I'm stopped right at the signal and look what's up ahead yes that's another train so for some reason we can't use the right track i knew about this surprise i've seen that signal before and i knew there is a crossing so Yeah, that's really nasty surprise that can be visible in this mission. If I would approach that signal at a full speed limit, I probably wouldn't make it to stop at it. And that would be a waste of nearly an hour. Alright, so, let's get on the move. Let's... 
apply some throttle first, not great should be sufficient. And let's release the brakes. This way, we should be able to prevent a rollback, which would be really devastating in results. The train is still slightly trying to roll back, but we should be able to quickly overcome it. Oh, you want to tell me that I'm going to roll back eventually on not three? Come on, you. There we go. There we go. I want to move the other direction, you know. There we go, very slowly, but we should be able to get this bad boy moving. Come on, come on. I know you can do it. And that's why you need the power of all locomotives. So. When you will be playing this scenario, remember, in order to prevent mistake that I did, where I slightly rolled back, use notch 4 instead. <laughs> Just look at this, it is really struggling. I don't want to push it too far, because if you push it too far, you start a wheel spin, which is not exactly the best thing. You can obviously support yourself with a little bit of a sand. To increase friction. There we go, we pass next to that signal. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look at this rear locomotive. Yeah. The speed is raising up. Let's give it notch 5. We should get much more stable increase. There we go. There we go. Finally. Beautiful. Another screenshot taken. So for now on, or for now, I think we will continue on the left track for some reason. And I think I can already see why. There is something on the tracks. Some sort of maintenance. Right. For, uh, for a few minutes I will have to jump into the cabin because we are approaching a tunnel. So the game won't let me use external camera anyway. And now one of the hardest part of this scenario, which is a descent. Uh, this road is going downhill at a very steep rate. So I will have to use dynamic brake, air brake and keep control of my speed at all times. not gonna be easy especially with such a heavy consist Ooh, lights are still not working correctly in this game right let's drop it just to notch one 
just to keep my speed. might start dynamic braking in order to not go above 20 miles per hour because if we entered left track just for the tunnel and nearby area because of those works there should be a uh, another like a crossing somewhere behind it and I believe it will have around 20 miles per hour speed limit anyway Okay, for now we can relax. The speed seems to be stable at 18 miles per hour. Let's carry on with that. Very good. It is kind of sad that they haven't fixed the lighting in, in this game. I got full lights on and I should see the tracks, but I can't see them. It's pitch black. I can see the lights on, on the sides of the tunnel, but unfortunately, yeah, I can't see the tracks themselves, which is pretty sad. Right, the speed limit will increase. 30 miles per hour but I think I'm gonna keep it as it is for now Ooh, dynamic brake on second notch seems to be very sufficient yeah okay let's let's keep it that way let's travel slowly we don't need to rush. There is no timetable that we, uh, that we need to follow. And it's better to be safe than sorry. There we go. Another maintenance vehicles up ahead. Is it? Yeah, there is something happening there. I think. Some signals and there we go another speed limit of 20 miles per hour just as I expected okay the incline has increased and as you can see, my speed is slightly increasing. I give it a notch 3 on dynamic brake so that we won't exceed the speed limit. And we are now crossing to the right track. Okay, I think we can now use external camera. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, so we got 15 miles to go. If that would be a straight line. We will travel much more though. Uh, because this route comes through a valley that uh, wiggles uh, between mountains. 
So probably we will be looking at some 30 miles trip, something like that. Okay, the speed is raising again. Ooh. Yeah, it is raising. Let's give it all the way to notch 8. Let's introduce some brakes so that we won't exceed the speed limit. Let's release the brakes now. Okay, notch 8 on dynamic brake is slowing us down a little bit. Okay, the speed limit increased. Let's reduce the dynamic brake by a notch. Okay, I think the speed is still increasing, is it? Seems to be stable. But when entirety of the train will enter that heavy incline, things might change. We might start to struggle with only dynamic brake. Ah. Oh, the speed limit suddenly dropped to 30 miles per hour. Let's drop it by a notch and let's see what happens. If I'll be able to set it up correctly, I should be able to achieve a stable speed. I would like to keep it at around 20-25 miles per hour. For now, the dynamic brake seems to be overpowering the push from the wagons. Which is not ideal. Let's drop it to notch 5. Oh! There we go, and I missed one of the whistle boards. Yeah, we are still slowing down. Notch 4. Down to notch 3. Okay, on notch 3 we are seeing some increase in speed. Let's let it go up to like 20, 25 miles per hour. Yeah, the speed is raising. Fantastic.
Okay, I will keep it that way. The speed will eventually raise to the levels that I want it to. We are not in a rush. And in the meantime, we can spend some time looking at the nice view. Oh, just look at this. I may try to grab some cool photos here while our train is slowly passing through this area. Okay, 16 miles per hour. Speed is definitely climbing. Oh, just look at this. Beautiful. A nice screenshot taken. Are we gonna get any more? Uh, we might be able to catch some nice screenshots. However, those wagons are not so visible at the distance. There we go, another screenshot taken. Oh, we can even see our second locomotive back there. Very good. Okay. The speed managed to climb up to 22 miles per hour. 23. Okay, I can increase the dynamic brake to notch 4. And hopefully with that I will be able to keep this train on that speed. Oh, it is still increasing. Okay. Oh, see, there must have been another whistle board that I missed. Okay, we are up to notch 5 on dynamic brakes now. The incline is getting really tougher. Let's increase it to notch 7. Notch 8. Ooh. I might need some help from air brakes, yes. Let's use air brakes to not exceed the speed limit. Let's drop our speed to 25 miles per hour. Twenty seven.
26. And there's 25. What does this board say? Okay. Let's release the air brakes. Oh, and there is a whistle board. Oh, there we go. For some reason, the speed suddenly drops to 25. Okay, so I got lucky with that. Because it should have be 35. Not 25. Okay, let's decrease uh, dynamic braking by two notches. Okay, the speed is increasing again, not 7, perhaps it will be sufficient. Oh, and there is a train passing next to me, 4 locomotives, oh my goodness me. Okay, the speed is raising. Notch 8. Slight touch on the brakes. Let's release them now. Okay, okay, my speed seems to be pretty stable. Oh no, it's increasing again. Right, let's give it minimum reduction. Let's drop it down to 20 miles per hour. Okay, let's release it. And we'll see what's going to happen now. Well, right now the dynamic brake seems to be overpowering the push from the wagons. But that might quickly change. Is it? Right, let's drop dynamic brake to notch 7. Okay, the speed is raising now. Is it? Uh, not really.
Okay, all the way down to notch 4. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's really hard to adjust. Okay, the speed is raising again. Okay, let's keep it that way. We don't need to rush, uh, really, so... I'll be slowly increasing the dynamic braking as the speed increases. Okay, I can push it to notch 5. Is the notch 5 going to be sufficient? Or maybe that's too much. Oh, that is too much. Notch four. Hmm. Notch four doesn't really seem to be giving me any effect on that. There is something weird about this. Let's drop it to notch 3. And let's try let's let it raise a little bit. Uh, because I wouldn't like to travel all the way down with 15 miles per hour. Uh, I mean, this is possible. But it would take us like two hours to get <laughs> So I would really, really like to keep at least 20 miles per hour on my speed. Oh, obviously the incline is now dropping a little bit. So I might have to even... Oh, no. Okay, for now it's it's looking good. I almost thought that I will have to drop the dynamic brake even more. Uh, but it looks good. It looks pretty good. We are getting there, though. We are getting there. And we can once more enjoy the views. Just look at this long straight. That is a really, really long train. Too bad that the game's rendering distance is so small. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm running this game on ultra settings. So, it's... It's a bit disappointing that the rendering distance is so small. I can't see any any coal sticking out of the wagons at a distance of like more than 9, 10 wagons, which is a little bit disappointing. Okay, let's let's drop the dynamic brake by another notch because it really feels like I'm slowing down a little bit too much. Okay, the speed is increasing again. Oh, and the next speed limit is 35 miles per hour in just 570 yards. So hopefully we will be able to travel at a higher speed. Twelve miles to go, but I doubt it will be only twelve miles. Very good, very good. Okay, now it's 30 miles per hour. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Those speed limits are changing really fast. Oh, that's the bridge. Uh, why, why am I sounding a horn? Uh, maybe for fun. Okay, okay, yeah. I, I, For a second I almost thought that this is railway crossing. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, there is a whistle board. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, let's sound a horn now. Oh! Okay, let's... Increase the dynamic braking, because I was approaching my speed limit. Pretty fast. Okay, notch 5 seems to be sufficient for now. Okay, and the speed limit has increased. It is now 30 miles per hour. Oh, okay. Notch 5 might be a little bit too much. Let's drop it down to notch 3. Okay, speed seems to be stable, more or less. It should be slowly increasing, 
very slowly. Oh, I think I missed another whistle board. So that's going to be like three that I missed already. We are getting there. We are definitely getting to our destination. So far, we are doing very good. Uh, we managed to keep our speed in check at all times. But the difficult parts might yet to come. Because obviously, the longer you play, the more tired you are. And there is more room for mistakes. Right, I'll drop my dynamic brake to notch 2. But let's fix my position in the chair. Oh my goodness me. Uh, my muscles are getting stiff. Okay, a sip of a coffee. Let's carry on. Beautiful. Okay, we can go up to notch 3 again. As the incline is increasing. We are about to hit 20, yeah, we hit 25 miles per hour, which is just perfect speed. And I would like to keep it that way. That is if I can, obviously. Beautiful. Okay, speed seems to be staying at... Oh, okay, it's slightly increasing. But there is nothing to worry about. Okay, let's go up to notch 4. Yeah, I think the speed is still increasing. Notch 5. Ooh. Okay. Notch 6, 7, notch 8. All the way up. And it doesn't seem to have any effect. Does it? Or maybe. Okay, okay. Speed seems to be holding. Uh, 
Um, maybe slightly raising. Oh, another tunnel, so let's jump into the cabin. There we go. Okay, so when we pass this tunnel, that means we are very, very close to the end of that descent. Or at least... We are about to hit the point where the inclines are getting slightly uh, smaller. So instead of being over 1% for most of the time, like they are right now, uh, they will drop down to like half percent, uh, 0.7, 0.8%. Uh, it will be much, much smoother ride which is good. Oh, I still can't use external camera. I should be able to do that soon. Uh, still not. Come on. How long does it take? Oh, there is a whistle board. See? Okay, at least I didn't miss that. Oh, there we go. We can now use external camera. Oh, the speed is still increasing. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I think we are very, very close to... Um, ...to the point where... ...this descent is going to finish. should be like not far from here if I remember correctly because uh, if, if I remember the climbing phase uh, in in other mission that that valley uh, was not long after we actually started to climb uh, let's introduce some air brakes so that we won't exceed the speed limit Let's drop the speed down to 25 miles per hour, and then I will release the brakes. Okay, that should be good. And let's keep it that way. Oh, the speed is still going down. I think now the dynamic brake might be overcoming this speed increase. Is it? We'll see, we'll see. Oh, no, not really. Right, let's see how's the rear of our train doing. Okay, pretty well, pretty well. 
everything seems to be good in here. Alright, let's let's not breathe with smoke. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah, I, I think we are getting very close to, to the point where that descent is going to end. It really shouldn't be long now. Few more bends. And we should reach that village which is at the bottom of the mountain. I'm not sure what that town was called, but yeah. I think we visited that place during one of the missions. I think it was the first mission when we were led on the main route. Okay. Twelve miles to go. Okay, I will introduce some more brakes. Awesome, absolutely awesome. Okay, let's release that. The speed dropped a little bit more than I wanted to. But it's not a big deal. Oh yeah, the speed is dropping a little bit faster than I want to. Right. Let's release the brakes a little bit. And let's let the speed to climb. Oh, okay, the speed limit will increase in less than two miles, which means that we are definitely approaching the end of that climb. Uh, climb, descent. My goodness me, what am I talking about? <laughs> See, I am definitely getting tired. Which means there might be some mistakes up ahead, and hopefully, hopefully, it won't be a mistake that will end this scenario before I can actually finish it. That would be really bad. Oh, I just noticed that I might have left a crosswalk open. Ooh, that's no good.
Right. So I'm gonna do one thing. Oh no, it's close. Okay. Woo. It looks like it's opened, but it's closed. That's interesting. That is very, very interesting. I really love how much details they put into those locomotives. It is really amazing. And that's one of the good things about Dovetail. They they really model those locomotives very, very well. Uh, I, I love to watch how various engines uh, looks in the game. The modeling work is absolutely top-notch. No doubt about that. The only sad thing is that yeah, th these guys need to learn how to make scenarios and definitely they need to learn how to make tutorials. <laughs> uh, because those tutorials are absolutely awful. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, a little bit more on dynamic, uh, well, dynamic air brake. Let's drop the speed to 25 miles per hour. I will be able to release the brakes pretty soon, but I still need to remember that my entire train needs to go past the speed limit sign. Okay, I can now release the brakes. We are doing 25 miles per hour, which is pretty good. And it shouldn't take long from now uh, to actually reach Cumberland uh, Yard. It, well, 12 miles might seem like a long journey, but we will be traveling at speed of almost 50 miles per hour. Uh, so it will go much, much faster. Okay, 400 yards. Let's drop the dynamic brake to six, uh, to notch six. Soon we probably won't need it at all, but for now, we'll have to keep it. Okay, that's a speed limit board. Oh, and a whistle board. There we go. And there we are. Pretty much this is the end of our descent. Well, more or less, because uh, there is still a long way to go. Uh, but right now it will be pretty much straight line. Oh, there is another whistle board right behind this bridge. There we go. I can now drop the dynamic brake in full and let the train do the job or let the gravity do the job. We will reintroduce dynamic brake when we hit closer to 50 miles per hour.
Oh, that's a nice speed, isn't it? Now it feels like we are moving. <laughs> anyway, I still need to be careful. Oh. Let's introduce some braking. Notch four, just to keep the train slowing down a bit. I have to remember that we are still going downhill. It might, it might not be like one and a half percent, but that's still a downhill ride. Okay, notch three should be sufficient. Is it? Uh, seems like. Okay, we are doing 48 miles per hour. Another whistle board. We got 9.6 miles to go. But it's gonna be a straight line, so... It really won't feel like it's a lot. We should get to our destination in no time. Okay, the speed holds nicely. might be slightly dropping in fact but well I'm okay with that we are still doing 48 miles per hour and the distance is dropping rapidly exactly as I wanted to Beautiful. Just beautiful. Eight miles to go. Speed went slightly up, but the incline dropped down, so it might balance itself. Yeah, speed goes back down to 48. There we go. Incline is increasing again. So 
so the speed should follow. I don't really feel any need to change anything in dynamic braking. At this point it looks pretty stable. Was there a whistle board? Probably there was, but I missed it. And there is another one. Okay. Very good. Another whistle board. And another one. Wow. Okay, we are slowing down briefly. Six miles to go. Let's drop dynamic brake by a notch and let the spiel, uh, speed to build up again. I don't want to let it go just, well, in full because things might change when it comes to uh, inclines and I might get caught in a situation where I won't be able to slow down in time also the closer we are getting to the station there is a more of a possibility that the speed limit will eventually drop below 50 miles per hour and we will have to start slowing down significantly Oh, we are now going uphill, in fact. So let's release the dynamic brake for now. Because the gravity will do the job for us. Okay, let's let the speed to build up a little bit. And then we'll introduce dynamic brakes again. Five miles to go. There we go. There we go. 43 Oh, there's another whistle board Okay, the wagon started to push on the locomotives Another whistle board. Let's reintroduce notch three on dynamic brake. Okay, 2.1 miles 
until yellow signal. And 1.4 miles until speed limit will drop down to 35 miles per hour. The incline has also increased. Okay, never mind. If I'm lucky, I might be able to drop down my speed using only dynamic brake. It is slowly dropping. I think there is another whistle board. Yes, there is. Okay, I can reduce dynamic brake by a notch. In fact, I can let it coast as we are moving on even ground. At least for now. Hopefully the speed won't increase. Let's reintroduce dynamic brake as we are going downhill again. Okay, the speed limit is now 35 miles per hour. Let's drop the dynamic brake to notch one. Just so that we keep the part of the train that is still going downhill from pushing us over the speed limit. Another speed, uh, well, another whistle board speed limit. Uh, okay, now we are going downhill again. Speed is raising, so let's reintroduce notch three on dynamic brake hopefully that will be sufficient two and a half miles to go okay we are slowing down which is good but soon more of the wagons will enter that incline and they will start pushing me forward so the balance might quickly change oh yeah and the incline is actually increasing Okay, let's drop dynamic brake to notch 2. Let's see what's going to happen. We are still slightly going downhill. Oh, the speed limit is going to go down in about half a mile. So let's increase dynamic brake again to slow down. Ok, 
Okay, let's go down to notch 2. As we hit 25 miles per hour. In fact, notch 1 should be sufficient. Just a slight braking. One point eight miles to go. Ooh, and the incline has increased significantly. Okay. Right. The speed has dropped down to 25. Let's increase dynamic braking by one notch. One and a half miles to go. Ooh. For a brief moment, we had a wheel spin for some reason. I think that's because of how the route is built, so it, it wasn't like intended. We are not braking that hard. Right, let's drop let's drop the dynamic brake in full. As briefly we are traveling on even ground. Okay, the back of the train is still pushing us because it is still on the incline, so the speed should raise a little bit. Let's introduce notch 1 on dynamic brake. It will slowly increase the power. One mile to go. Okay, the incline is increasing again. But the dynamic brake that I've applied is still sufficient to slow us down. I'm gonna keep slowing down uh, all the time. Because it looks like... Okay, okay, it looks like we might be needing to stop very close from the signal. There is a whistle board in here. Okay. And there is another one.
Okay, I'm doing 16 miles per hour, which is sufficient. And yes, just as I predicted, pretty much the signal is where we need to stop. So we will have to be stopped precisely right in front of the signal. Okay, another whistle board. Oh, and the incline has increased. Right, I will introduce a little bit more of dynamic braking. Okay, my speed is slowly dropping. That is very good. Another whistle board. I'm going to be prepared to introduce air brakes. 320 yards to go. Let's introduce air brakes at minimum reduction. Oh dear, 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 oh dear. That is a very difficult stop to perform. Because as you can see, Okay, let's release dynamic brake. Because as you can see, that stopping marker is extremely close to the signal. And it's very easy to pass the signal at danger. Wow. And there we are. Woo! Perfect stop. T205, subject to signal indications. Proceed in the Cumberland Terminal. Over. Okay, stop at location Emmett's Creek. But before we proceed, I would like to have a look at our junctions because if I remember correctly yes these are manual now so let me just check if everything is set up correctly for us okay this one is set 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 this one is set, this one is set. We're gonna go through here. And we have to stop there. Okay. Right. So, let's release the brakes. Let's give it two notches of throttle. And there we go. Almost there. Almost there. All we have to do is to pull into Cumberland Yard. Wow, Ooh, this was a very long scenario. 
but it's not over yet we still got nearly two and a half miles to go at a speed of 15 miles per hour so right now we have to just enter the yard But I'm not gonna lie, I feel tired. I feel absolutely drained. It was nice. Quite relaxing, but also engaging scenario. Uh, definitely, as a small summary, I can tell that the setup of locomotives was just perfect. Uh, we had sufficient power to get the train moving we had sufficient power to keep the train in uh, in control while we were climbing uphill or descending from uh, from the hill so I believe we would be able to even go through the same route in the other direction which would be interesting However, that was really nice and challenging scenario. Right, another whistle board. And now we need to check our speed. And let's make sure that we won't go above 15 miles per hour. It took quite a long time, I'm not gonna lie. Especially, uh, especially that I'm uh, showcasing also part one in this video. So right now we are looking at about, well, nearly three hours recording. So that is quite a lot. Hopefully, every single one of you enjoyed it, same as I did. Okay. The speed is increasing right now, so I don't need to touch anything. All I have to do is to pull this bad boy into where it needs to be. Okay, if I remember correctly, all the junctions were set for me. There we go. Oh, we are going downhill, so let's reduce the throttle. There we go shot taken the speed is still increasing Oh, let's give it a notch on dynamic brake instead. Just to hold the train at the right speed. In fact, let's give it two notches. Do I have to go to notch three? That's the question. I don't think I do. Just in case.
Nah, that's gonna be fine. Whew. This is really tough. It's really tough to keep attention uh, on on the screen for so long time. And the route doesn't let you, like, relax for a bit. It doesn't let you, like, let it go for, let's say, 10 minutes. No, it's not gonna happen. You have to pay attention to what you are doing. Because if you don't, well, you might go over the speed limit. You probably noticed that the speed limits were changing quite harshly. Right, let's drop... Oops. Let's drop the dynamic brake, the notch one. In fact, let's let it go. Nope, back to notch one. Oh, back to notch two. Initial reduction on the brakes. Uh, there we go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Now we can let it coast. Beautiful. Okay, now we've entered even ground. Just beautiful. Well, it's just two and a half miles, but with that speed, it's going to feel like ages to get there. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, it really takes ages to, to get to our destination. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Absolutely amazing. We made it. I'm so happy that we made it. All I have to do is to stop the train at the right siding and that is it. That is going to be the end. Just 1.3 miles at well, relatively slow speed. But I'm sure we can do it. Come on. Set up, idle. Oh, notch one. There we go. On notch one, I should be able to keep hold of, uh, to my speed. There we go. That is just perfect. Oh. Now is the relaxing part of this route. Even though it might seem boring, but well, normally you would still have to stop at some sort of a siding. You shouldn't be stopping at uh, at the main track, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so that part still needs to be done, and Cumberland is a really, really large siding, as you can see. Okay, beautiful. We are getting onto the right tracks right now.
Okay, I can't remember which junction was it. Oh, that was this one. And we should end up right next to this train. Beautiful. One mile to go. Oh, our speed has reached 15 miles per hour. Let's let it coast. Very, very good. Oh, there is quite similar consists to ours. At least by the looks of it. This one has empty hoppers. Our speed might be slightly increasing. I use just a touch of independent brake to keep us slow so that we won't accidentally go over the speed limit. There we go. I can now release the independent brake. Seven hundred yards to go. About 50% on independent brake should be sufficient to hold us at the right speed and eventually slightly slow us down so that we can fully stop in 400 yards. Because that's the right time. Okay, at 200 yards I will introduce air brakes. Minimum reduction, there we, there we are. Okay, we are now slowing down really well. We might actually stop a little bit too soon. Do we? Oh, maybe. Come on, just a touch more. Uh, 20 yards. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Okay, the front wheel is at the marker. Oh, look at this. It's just perfect. Okay, 
uh, set the reverser to neutral. Yes, can be done. Automatic brake to full service. Yes, can be done. Head to the main building to complete really this good duty. Work over Sand Patch grade. The skills you've demonstrated are exceptional. You're experienced enough to take on any train running through the Keystone subdivision now. Fair enough. Oop. Come on. I pushed myself through the door. Right. Let's go to the main building. And let's see our scores. I think it was perfect. Isn't it? We just nailed it. Just look at this score. 8650. I think you can't go any higher on this scenario. Did I even make any mistake that would deduct any points? Hmm. Nah, unless there is a timetable for it, then probably I might have not exactly stick to it. But I think everything went perfect. Well, we're soon going to find out. I just need to reach that building. Come on, 100 yards. Uh, uh, seriously, that, that engineer must be a marathon runner. I'm not going to lie. This guy is running miles. There we go. And... Wow. Just perfect. It took us 2 hours, 31 minutes and 55 seconds. Total score of 8,900. I guess that's good, is it? We did just great. Just look at this graph. It's like just where it needs to be. Well, almost, I guess. But yeah, that was pretty, pretty darn good. Anyway, whew, it took us so long time. Guys, that was absolutely amazing. Let me just switch to, to my boards. There we go. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. That was America uh, Powering America Part 1 and Part 2. Uh, it was really a blast to record this video. Honestly, I'm absolutely drained, but I loved every second of playing those scenarios. They definitely make up for many, many of the mess ups from Dovetail that they did in the previous scenarios or tutorials. They still need to improve tutorials, don't get me wrong, uh, but definitely that was really nice and relaxing mission and i hope that the next ones that are soon to come uh, or actually they are still in the game uh, but i will be featuring them on this channel soon as soon as i record them uh, but definitely and hopefully they will be good well Definitely and hopefully that's a bit of a contradiction, isn't it? Well, I, I'm just tired. Right. Um, ignore me. Uh, anyway, just don't ignore this last section, which is thank you very much for watching. I would like to uh, thank you everyone who, who stayed throughout the entire video because that was a long one. Anyway, if you liked it, give it a massive thumbs up. That really helps my channel to be discovered on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button uh, after you subscribe to eventually get notifications about any content that I release. If you want to get informed about those uh, videos. Also, uh, you can join my Discord server. Link is in the description down below the video. You can also get notifications about my videos from there. Uh, so that's a good uh, reason to, to get in. Uh, you can talk with a lot of train fans uh, or rail fans because um, they they seem to have stormed my Discord and, and they seem to be uh, the most active user group <laughs> on the server, uh, which I'm really happy about. 
Uh, you can discuss various things about Train Sim World too. You can discuss various things about any other Train Sim game uh, that you may be playing. Uh, I'm always open for such discussions. Right, have a great day and see you all later. Later. Out.